Right, so this time we'll be taking a look at some hybrid and AP builds for Sari. I think the hybrid build might be competitively viable, um, but I'm not sure about the AP ones, but let's take a look at it. Um, so this is the hybrid build. It's based on Kai'Sa. Uh, I talked about it with one of my master ADC friends, um, and it's been talked about quite a bit in the uh, Sari mains Discord too. Um, but I made a bit of my own version of it, I guess. Um, so the Mermana is great um, due to getting more hybrid damage and the fact that you can proc it with your uncharged uh, right click. So you can also weave those in and that's very nice. First Strike is very helpful for um, burst and it synergizes greatly with your ult. Um, your ult and your W also proc the Mermana. Um, and the AD is fine for getting extra Q damage. Um, that just works great for lower Q cooldown, also so you can charge your passive, or your Q passive. Um, and otherwise, uh, AP works, since it does give her a lot of damage. Um, these dummies, th those ones don't have resistance, this one is a realistic late game squishy champion. Um, but we'll mostly just look at the damage numbers. Um, so if we try to combo with this build, something like this, um, it's quite a lot of damage done very quickly, and you're also pretty safe due to having crown. Um, so I can definitely see this Kaiser like build being pretty viable. So without your ultimate on this build, the main combo would probably be WQ auto or something in that vein. You could also start with auto or I mean right click. Um, that deals a lot of damage. Um, and outside of this you can weave these to get the extra mermana procs. Um, but you won't be doing that much DPS compared to if you were building a D crit. Um, with your ult, the on hit damage is quite high. It still won't reach the consistent damage from a crit build. Um, but when you're weaving, it does stay consistently pretty high up. And you, of course you'll be casting your other abilities too. When you're playing this, you also have the option of just poking with long range WQ, which does quite a lot of damage. Um, but mostly I think you'll be an assassin. Um, so if we stand over here, for instance, um, doing something like this is like a dream scenario, but um, it would be quite a lot of damage to everyone and then a big first strike prom. Right, I've set up one tank, 150, and two squishies, 70 resistances. Um, to start with, we test the R damage. Here it turns out to 638 on these and 434 on this one. If we replace the Mermana with a Void Staff, we end up with 709 on those and 538 on this one. So specifically the ult does have a very nice uh, AP scaling. We cast the W. 909. Uh, but it says 524. I guess that's after resistances. Yeah, sure. 524 after resistances. Uh, as opposed to with Void Staff. Five forty. So on squishies, it's pretty much the same. Um, and the Void Staff will be a bit better towards the tank. Um, but of course, resistances aren't always equal. So you can switch between hybrid and AP based on what resistances they're building. A full AP combo. Here are the numbers compared to If we do this, Hi. 
So on the secondary targets, the damage is quite a bit higher. Um, but on the main target, it's lower due to the void staff difference. Regarding your Q damage, we see that it does 511 on this build with more mana. Um, and if we replace it with a Void Staff, we end up at 530. So due to the Nashor's damage and the Lishbane damage um, being the main part, um, the Void Staff does deal more damage. Um, and remember that's also because Mermana procs on Q like an auto and not like spell. If we try Q auto weaving with Mana Mune or Mermana, two five five seven, and then we try it with Void Staff. Oh, that's the wrong staff. There we go. We end up a little bit lower. And first strike was on there on all the autos on both, or attacks on both. Um, so Mermena is better, at least on versus Squishies, regarding you using your uh, right click too. Um, and it has the advantage of also having mana, which is just useful in general, uh, and ability, which is great for getting your ult more often. Um, so I would say Mermana is a great option compared to just going full AP, and it will also be harder to counter build um, compared to the full AP build. So the extra penetration you get against tanks on this might actually not end up being worth much. But if the enemies are building a lot of armor, I guess you could consider building full AP.